This event has started some 55 years ago. Uh, Satoki Yamamoto, who the uh, stadium is named after, it is a two-day event. The uh, first day is naturally your preliminaries or trials. Uh, you have to qualify. In order to qualify, you have to finish in the top eight. Uh, the teams from the mainland come over. They come over with top-notch quality, as, you, as you'll see tonight. Uh, and it just it just makes our kids better and gets them more ready for the state meet. Uh, the off-island competition is bringing, bringing some challenges, but hopefully I'll be able to pull it out. I think it's good because it just gets me ready for states and I know what's going to happen when it comes. Yeah, we've been coming here for the past six years. It's one of the highlights uh, of, uh, of our season. Uh, well, there are two state qualifiers we brought over here, state of California qualifiers. Uh, that would be Jessica Davis, 10th uh, grader, and also uh, Jeremy Acosta is one of those, also a state qualifier in uh, cross country and uh, the distance. So we've got two probably good, good uh, California all-staters <laughs> here. Uh, Jessica is uh, she's more of a sprinter, a 200, 400 runner, and uh, she has she does the hundred sometimes. So uh, I think she's uh, gonna do maybe a hundred today. I feel kind of special, you know, coming to Hawaii. Not many people get to come to Hawaii. Well, last year I ran 11.64 in the 100, and I ran a 23.64 in the 200. And the 400, I ran a 57-ish, kind of. Um, today, I'll be running the 100, the 200, the 400, and the 4x400. We expect her to do well. Aloha! <laughs> we have Kailea Tracy Vicentainer. Uh, she's also running in the 200 and 400, also the, law, uh, the high jump, and having the addition of the girl from Highland as well. Uh, it's, it's just going to be a, some great racing tonight. Uh, having the off-island competition is actually a really big wake-up. Um, it's really good because it really makes you realize where you're at and everything. The 200 was actually really great. Um, after competing with her and the, Jessica in the 400, it kind of made me ready and made me realize what I did wrong. So therefore, I was more ready and prepared for the 200, which came later tonight. And to have someone here who was at the equal, if not higher level than me was really kind of intimidating. But you know, at the same time, it really pushed me and made me ready for other races that I'll encounter this year. 1500 meters race is gonna be really, really heated. You have Caron uh, Rosette from Kamehameha. Uh, you have Leia Lumblad from uh, Seabury Hall. And I think Bailey uh, Mossenberg from King K. Kaunike. It should be a really tight race all the way through. is going to be slamming for the guys. Uh, you have Reed Hunter, Joy uh, Mescua from Baldwin, and Reed Hunter's from King K. Kaulike. I qualified for the 800 and 1500 meter, and I'm also running the 4x4 relay with my team today. It's a great two-day meet, so it gives, it's crucial for success for um, at, state, at the state championship. I think if you need, if you want to run fast, you need to be pushed. I think uh, Jeremy Acosta from Highland. Those three are going to be vying for uh, a sub two-minute uh, 800 today. Uh, this is kind of like the you know a milestone for me to see where I'm at. Um, there's still a lot of training I need to do. You know, 10 weeks before states, and I'm feeling real good. You know, that that's my real main goal is to break the 151 mark. 100 meters for the guys. Uh, we have um, Calais uh, from uh, Baldwin, and there's another gentleman from um, Highland. Uh, it's gonna be some fast, fast stuff tonight. Fast stuff. Fast times at the Satoki Yamamoto Invitational is an understatement, as new records were set for both boys and girls. 
Kalei Kamaheli of Baldwin stake claim to new times in the 100 and 200 meter sprints, while Joey Amescua, also of Baldwin, laid down a new time in the 800 meters. And Reed Hunter of Kinke Kaoliki set a top mark for the 1500 meters. Jessica Davis of Highland High School, California, left Maui having blazed record times in the 100, 200, and 400 meter races. Pulling along Kailea Tracy V. Centenaire of Seabury Hall, who also beat old records in the 2 and 400 meter runs. Tracy V. Centenaire's 200 time of 25.02 exceeds the Hawaii state record of 25.04. With half the season still to go, things are looking promising for this year's track and field MIL. Yeah. <laughs>